I want to talk about our story, which is how a marketing, consulting, and training firm can be relevant during the pandemic. Uh, and uh, the basic idea is that we are an advocacy-based uh, training and consulting company, uh, which is really based on four eyes: no information, ideas, inspiration, and infrastructure. Uh, so I'm going to give you eight cases. The first case is the Mansmith Young Market Masters Award, or the YMMA. Uh, and many, 16 years ago, we started the Young Market Masters Award. And why is, why is it innovation? Well, innovation is the first in the industry uh, and something new that you have done and with commercial success. So 16 years ago, we launched this. We are not a marketing association. And yet, we're, as a private company, we were able to pull this off. Uh, today, it's the first and only marketing award for marketing practitioners 35 years old and below. And we award a group of market, excellent marketeers. No? Uh, you can see uh, many CMOs uh, today uh, on my on, on the upper left, Anson Di Chavez, for example, one time managing director of Nielsen in Asia, uh, in Africa, and in the Middle East. Uh, Dondi is uh, CMO of Jollibee. Uh, and, and, and I'm not going to go through its name. I don't have the time to do that. But I just want, and I'm, we're very happy to uh, share that. Uh, many of them went on to become CMO of Unilever, Nestle, McDonald, and Procter and & Gamble, and so forth and so on. And there's no exception. A few weeks ago, we had the 16th annual batch, uh, and, and we have done this. Uh, we're very happy to do that. Uh, and But we didn't stop there. Because of the pandemic, we requested the previous winners to help us do a one-on-one -on -one mentoring with entrepreneurs. So can you imagine the entrepreneurs have award winners, no less. And we had a couple of sessions uh, and we didn't even stop there. So we decided to ask the winners who, are, who became mentors uh, to SMEs to talk about, uh, to share their lessons. Uh, and, and they have done so with an Entrep Rescue Summit uh, and we have converted it into a book, into an ebook. My 19th book is an ebook and it's free. You can access it in uh, day8.org. Uh, uh, and uh, these are some of the things that you can expect. So you have, uh, for, the, for the first time, you have award-winner, award-winning marketeers, uh, mentoring uh, SME. Uh, and we did it uh, through, uh, uh, through a tie-up with Go Negocio. Uh, so from awards, we went into mentoring conference uh, and ebook. Uh, and the innovation lesson that I'd like to share with you is be inspiring, be helpful, be generous and be wise. Now, I'd, I'd like to share with you a second innovation case, which is about conferences. Last year, we anticipated that many people will be retrenched. Uh, and so we came up with the very first conference uh, for retrenched employees and entrepreneurs who will be affected. We call it from cutback to comeback in our digital platform called Continuum Academy. We taught them about how to seek balance and how to prepare 
uh, for the next move. Uh, and since last year was our 30th anniversary, we interviewed 30 people who have experienced crisis in the past. And they shared their story, very generous of them. And the innovation story here is be anticipative, anticipate what's needed, uh, and as well as be interleaking. Have a network where you can actually tap uh, so we have Francis Kong, we have Chinkitan, very generous of them to actually share uh, the uh, past crisis in their lives and how they have survived. Uh, and as uh, as an example, uh, that we can we can survive all of this pandemic. No, I want to share innovation case number three because we have a foundation. Man Smith uh, is the is the one powering the foundation called Day 8 Business Academy, focusing on uh, SMEs. Uh, and we came up with uh, different training for SME, crisis proofing your territory, uh, new marketing strategy, the new normal, low-cost social media, advertising, how do you recover revenue using selling science, uh, direct selling, using sales promo, how to innovate while cutting costs, operations management for remote team, leaders coping in the new normal, uh, 40 ways to drive business growth uh, and business model shift, for example. Uh, and we had the dilemma. We said, so how are we going to price all of these things? Because we're a foundation and we want to help SMEs. And there are close to 300 uh, videos uh, where SMEs can actually log into day eight. And we said, well, you know, they have two prices. One is as low as 1688, and the other is 2000 plus. 13 mentors, one year to learn, uh, unlimited access. Uh, and this is what we did. So, for the first time, there is a digital platform for SMEs, and they can access uh, uh, very relevant topics in the pandemic for as low as 1688 for one year. Uh, and the lesson here is be purposeful. Understand what is your purpose. It's not just about making profit. No? I'd like to share innovation case number four, which is another division that we own, that is, uh, which is called Sensei, uh, and which is for high school. And uh, you recall that there was a time that many of the high school, and up to now, they're working from there are many people working from home. The students are studying from home. But at a certain point in time, they had nothing to do. They were just at home. And so we pivoted, we created a, uh, we repositioned a division, and we actually taught high school students courses that are not taught in high school, influencing skills, innovation skills, leadership skills, things start, entrepreneurship, problem solving, decision making, events planning. Uh, and we had very good feedback. And today it is the only training company uh, for a bus uh, teaching business courses uh, for high school. Uh, so the idea, basic lesson there is to be market driving. I want to share innovation case number five, which is to understand business model. And I want, I want, I'd like to tell you we have so many books, but our business model for book our books are 100 percent for charity we don't make money uh and 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 we donate millions uh, uh for the last so many years every year no uh in fact maverick is the 2019 business book of the year so that's basically our business model. so shameless plugging they're available in lazada uh and shopee because it can help uh, so many uh, so many people no? so be be different Innovation case number six, we just launched the Man Smith Innovation Award because we wanted to create a culture of true innovation. Uh, and uh, as you know, innovation, I, I just shared innovation as two elements. It has to be new in the industry, not new in the company, newness in the industry, and it has to be commercially successful. Uh, and so log on to Man Smith Innovation Award. You can see the stories of 10 people. Uh, in Cebu, you have Kenan Kobompue, who is uh, Cebuano, uh, who is one of the 10 uh, initial set of winners. Uh, Mega, Mega Sardine, Union Bank, these are uh, Bea Valdez, a jeweler, is also a winner. 
Uh, and so be a culture builder. That's an important lesson that would like to also share about innovation. Innovation case number seven is about advanced courses. We had a dilemma. Uh, we were teaching so many pioneering courses. And what we did was uh, we just put them in one. Uh, and instead of teaching business model for, let's say, five sessions or six sessions, we just uh, uh, modularize it uh, and, and put six subjects together and call it advanced marketing. Uh, and so we actually have the first advanced marketing course uh, in the Philippines. Uh, and the lesson there in innovation is be pioneering. Innovation case number eight is we launch a business model course, 55 videos, 4K quality. 4K quality is uh, Netflix quality. Uh, and uh, so these are two cameras. You have uh, six or seven people who are actually part of the crew to, uh, to direct, to shoot, uh, done professionally. And, th and the reason is we have uh, created a business model map. Uh, you can see they are, uh, there is number sequence 1 to 11. It's color-coded uh, to guide the entrepreneurs how to do this. Uh, to help you understand how to go about it, we actually uh, produce a short two-minute video, two-and-a-half-minute video uh, on how you can do it for online food delivery. Uh, so let me share this video. This is the Mansmith Business Model Map with 11 building blocks. Here is an example of a business model map for an upscale food delivery. How can you improve this? Expand your target market to foodies. Not all Class AB individuals are foodies, and not all foodies are from Class AB. It's not enough for food to be delicious. Will your product save time on preparation? Plus, what occasion would you like to dominate? Do you want to provide food for Sundays? Menus might be different. Create a website and join Viber groups to diversify your online presence. If prospects did not like your menu, they may get interested in a monthly special, which gets more people to try it. That's how you get a database to develop a relationship with customers. In terms of your revenue model, you have food sales, but are they for lunch or dinner? What about lean hours? If you expand, think about what else you can sell with your food. If you sell chicken and you buy in the supermarket, that's more expensive than suppliers' restaurants use. That is a disadvantage. How do you reduce costs? Value isn't just for the customers, but for the stockholder as well. You and your business partners need discipline to improve your business. With this in mind, can you do franchising? Who says franchising isn't applicable to online selling? If you are based in one big city and someone wants your food in another, delivery distance is far. Think of others in that area who may not know how to cook, but are business-minded. They can get original products from you, reheat it, follow your system, and sell it. On the branding side, you don't want to be just another seller. You want to create a demand. What about market research? If you don't know why people order, try to find out. Ask, why did you order from me? What's your feedback? Would you recommend this to your friends? Recommendations are the real indicator of customer satisfaction. Look at your reputation. If you're a chef, label yourself as a chef. Word association can enhance your reputation. Having a special recipe and communicating that can also enhance reputation. Complementers can be area franchises. If you scale up, you'll be able to give them enough margins for them to earn by offsetting the cost of expensive raw materials through the franchising plans. This brings us to building block 10, reconfiguration. You can be the first food delivery franchise with many franchises able to deliver orders for you within minutes. This way, you won't need a physical restaurant. See how you can reduce costs from raw materials, packaging, delivery, and marketing. 
This results in bigger profit and sales. These are the 11 building blocks of a business model map, which I'm sharing as a public service, especially for those impacted by the pandemic. When you reconfigure for innovation, it's your start doing and stop doing, not just for you, but for the whole industry. Otherwise, you're just playing catch up. That's not innovation. Thank you for going through this mini mentoring session together. You can get the free download of the template and all building block definitions at www.continuum-edu.com. Keep in touch. This is Josiah Go. And this is a courtesy of a company that sponsored uh, this uh, particular video, Animatify. So if you're interested to do something like this, just approach them. Good news. Uh, I have posted this in YouTube. Just uh, search business model channel, Josiah Go, uh, and uh, you, you will you will see a, a video like this. And feel free to use it if it can help you. In fact, the business model class is not just about a seminar. We have live seminars. And, and so you can have free download of the template. You can have videos. Uh, and you want to be a, a visionary. And we had industry, the CEOs of so many companies. We had uh, uh, top-notch people to help us explain their business model. So inside the 55 video course, you actually have CEO of company explaining their 11 building blocks uh, and the dynamics of, 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 of their business model. If you're familiar with the uh, business model canvas with nine building blocks. Uh, we have expanded that uh, and with 11, where we talk about innovation and value chain as part of a uh, building block. You know? So, and we also promoted uh, a business model in different uh, various invitation, DOST, DTI, intellectual property office, uh, a, by by different bloggers, by YMCA, by Chinoy TV, uh, by Marvin Germo, and so forth and so on. Uh, and so what we actually did is from one course, we expanded to 55 videos. We had a conference. We had various advocacy talk to help businessmen not just identify their business model, but to identify business model pivot. Uh, which is different from innovation. And so if you, you might want to ask me about the difference later in the Q&A. So the innovation lesson there, uh, take, uh, uh, taken uh, this as a set, is be relevant, be scalable, and be credible, and be available. So in our case, uh, we have a cluster of competitive advantages as consultant. We not only know sales, we not only know marketing, we not only know blue ocean strategy, we also know innovation, entrepreneurship, and business model, creating a cluster of competitive advantages as consultant. A uh, very important thing. So let me sum up all of this uh, lesson that I have shared with you. And you can see that popping up some of this lesson uh, is a reminder to all of us what innovation is all about. Uh, and there are so many things you can do uh, with innovation uh, during the pandemic. These are all the terms that I use uh, during the last 20 minutes uh, in my presentation.